this video starts, I just wanted to say it is my birthday today and I really would like it if you would subscribe and give this video a like and check out my other videos because I spend so much time like editing these videos but also I spend time making them and honestly it would mean everything if you just <laughs> subscribed. That's all, thank you and enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be drawing a really cute aloe vera plant. I'm not going to bore you with an intro, but what you'll need for this is a pencil, a pen, and some paper. You can also use rubber if you want, because we're not all perfect. Okay, so I'll be going through the steps on how to draw this plant. So let's get started. Well, hello. How nice of you to join me. So we have this area right now. Um, I cut my piece of paper in half so it's right so a lot smaller um, so this is the finished result this is how it should end up once you've done all the steps okay you should you should end up with a cute little aloe vera plant and and it should look like this okay so now we know what it'll look like let's make one for ourselves because I made a pink one or well, what are these little plant with a pink pot Today I'm going to make one with um, a light blue pot. pot. So. so the first step is to draw a curved line and it should start around about here and then it should end right about there. Okay. I'm doing this with a pencil. You can do it with a pen but I'm going to do it with a pencil first so that we know what it will look like um, and then after I will outline it with a pen um, this is the pen I'm going to be using Faber Castle yeah, Faber Castle is where I got that came in a set so, yeah. Um, yeah, but if you want to do it with a pen it's fine but you'll probably get a more precise and like better looking drawing if you do pencil first Okay, so now once you've drawn your line, we want to come around over here and just do another slightly curved line. This would this we're drawing the top of the plant pot, so make sure you have space so, for the end so we can draw the aloe vera coming up here. And then we want to do the same on the other side. Try and make the pot really symmetrical. Might be difficult at first, but like yeah. You always have rubber, so, yeah. Okay, so now we've done that, we want to connect this line to this line, so let's do that. Easy, like so. And whenever I draw um, with pencil, it always looks really rough and really messy. But obviously, as you saw from this one, like it does end up look really nice, and the and the black pen makes it look really nice and clean. Okay, now next step is to draw. Okay, now so the next step is to draw like from starting from here. We're gonna draw down, straight down. Because this is going to be the size of the pot. Okay, so once we've drawn this straight side, you can do it as however long you want. But um, I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna try and do like a nice little stubby pot. Okay. I don't want like a long pot, so I'm probably gonna end it like yeah. I think you know I think I ended it in an okay place. So I'm just gonna curve it, curve the line. And then what I'm gonna do is draw this line down. Okay. 
and do exactly the same and then do like a soft curve down. Like that. Okay, so now we have two um, curves right here, we just want to join them up. Really simple. Join them up, maybe even add like a little bit of a curve because it is a part and obviously it's a bit curvy. Like that, easy. And I do hope you guys are following along at home, honestly. It's a lot of fun to do and then you'll like, be able to have your own artwork that you've made. And put it somewhere in your room. Okay, so. Okay, so now that is the pot finished. Well, that's not like, the face finished, but that is the pot finished. Um, so now we're going to go on to the actual aloe vera. Like the part that's coming up out here. So what we want to do first is we want to um, get some soil, make it look like there's soil. So what we want to do is literally just add some wiggly lines like this and basically we'll colour that in and it will look like there is soil. Which actually it gives like a really cool effect actually. So yeah that's, that's actually it. That's what you have to do. Simple. Simple. Okay, now what we want to do is start at the soil and we want to make, we're basically making wiggly really lines. We just want to go like this, curve out, make a round tip, come back, come back round. There you go. That's all we're doing for the, for the leaves of the plant. Okay, so we literally just want to do that like a bunch more times. Uh, make this one, make sure we're doing them in all different directions and maybe put some over here, put some over here. Make, uh, make them come from behind, come from everywhere. Make them long, make them short, you know. Because these are how all of our plants are, so make sure we have to get what they like. that you just want to keep doing that and you want to put some behind too uh -huh. so I'm gonna do four, I'm gonna do a few more and I'll be back when I'm finished okay so I am back and as you can see I have done one two three four five six seven eight Okay, so 8 is a perfectly fine number. On the other one that I did, I did 9, but like it doesn't really matter. Like as long as you've got them all like intertwined and like, you know, all wiggly and stuff, it, is, it'll, it will look good. Okay. So now we have done the aloe vera, we want to move on to the face. Obviously, this main part is what makes it cute. So now we want to come into the face. What we want to do is draw two big circles for the eyes because the eyes are pretty big, it's like one of the main features. Don't make them crazy big, just make them, yeah. I'll try and make them the same size because it really helps because they kind of look crazy if you make one bigger than the other. I think that looks pretty similar. Actually, I think this one's a bit smaller. I might change it. I always have a back because you never know when you're gonna need it. But it's okay to make mistakes. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me do this one more time. I'll be back. Okay, there you go. It's not 100% um, round, but like when I do it with my pen, I'll be I'll make a proper circle, so it's fine for now. Okay, so to make the okay, so to make the cute eyes, we want to draw a big circle and then a little circle. This is like the glare in the eyes it makes it look cute. And we'll do try and make it exactly the same um, in both eyes. Okay, yeah, it makes it look better when, you, when both of the glares are like the same size. So now what you want to do is 
I want to draw this kind of curve from like this point to this point. It's quite easy, but you just need to come around like this and do the same on this side. These are like the eyelashes, kind of. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And what we want to do is pretend there's like a dot in the middle. And what we want to do is make them pretend that the lines are coming up the dot in the middle. And so these are going to be the eyelashes. Uh, I think three or four eyelashes is good to put in. Yeah, if you put too much, if, if you put too many eyelashes, it doesn't look that good. Make sure you put the same amount of eyelashes in both eyes, though. And I mean that is basically. Well, if you're doing it in, um, if you're drawing in pencil, what you want to do now is shade in all of this part here, all this part right here, except for this circle and this little circle. You want to you want to shade it in all over here, and except for the eyelashes. And you want to do the same on this side. Just shade in, shade in the right. Shade in the white spaces, except for the circles and the eyelashes, and then that is all good. Okay, so after you've done that, we want to put like some eyebrows, obviously, because a face isn't complete without some eyebrows, obviously. Um, excuse me, do you mind? Yes, do you mind? Go back this way, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. It's very rude, you know. Actually, bad is it? Okay, now I want to do the eyebrows. It's literally two lines. All we have to do is do this and do this. Those are the eyebrows. That's it. And when you look at it like this, it kind of looks like the plant is sad, but when you finish it, it looks happy because of the mouth, obviously. Which is what we're going to do now. We're going to do the mouth. The mouth is. Basically, it's this curved line, so you want to do it with me. It's this curved line in the middle of the two eyes. It's basically this curved line. Wait, you can leave it like that if you want to leave it like that. If you want to leave it like that. Um, or you can leave it like this, or like this if you want, because that's pretty cute too. Okay, but I'm going to leave my mouth like this, because I think this really is a really cute mouth for this um, pop. And so the next step is to do the arms, really, and then we're done basically. So I'm gonna do my arm with this one behind its back and this one um, hands are in here. Yeah. So you want to start kind of, kind of in the middle of the eye. And you want to go to the edge, and you just want to just go like this because the arm is behind its back. Like that. That's pretty much it. It's behind its back. And then on this side, what you want to do is still the same, like go to the middle of the eye, then go to the edge. But instead, this one's going to be out saying hello. So we're going to just draw two lines, one like this. And one's kind of curved, this one's kind of curved. And we just want to go with another one that's kind of curved. And then we want to draw two sort of oval shapes, one like this, which is the hand, and then one like this, which is the thumb. And that is it, basically. Um, well, on this one, I've got a little heart here. You don't have to put a heart here, but I'm going to put a heart on this one on the opposite side. So, that's what I'm going to do. I want to put heart on this side, but you can put hearts wherever you want. You can even put hearts like along here like that. We can put hearts like everywhere, like it's a pot, you can decorate it however you want. But that is it guys, but that is it guys, that is the aloe vera plant, the cute aloe vera plant that you just learned how to draw. So now that we've learned how to draw, it's time for some colour. These are the colours that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using blue, brown, and green. So I'm going to go and colour. 
this picture in right now. I'll be using blue for the body of the pot, I'll be using green for the, the plant leaves, and I'll be using brown for the soil. We'll see you after it's done. Okay, so I've finished all the colouring. I just need to do the eyes now and that will be it, I'll be finished. Um, so I have I have two pencil. This is the one that I used to do the outline and this is the one I'm gonna do to fill in the eyes, okay. But obviously you at home might not have this. If you're wondering this is 0 0.7 I use for outline and I don't know what this is, this is just a, a brush pen. So it's like it has like a brush tip. And it's pretty good. It's for drawing manga, so um if you don't have this you can just use the whatever you're using to outline is perfect for the inside. So whatever you're using to that is perfect to that. So I'm gonna go and get this colored in with my brush pen. I like to do these because they're nice and easy and they're fun. And hopefully if you guys enjoy this video, I'll be doing more of these too. There will be um, some gaming videos, mobile gaming videos, coming soon as well. So if any of you have any games that you want me to play from the app store or something, then tell me. Or I can play some computer games that you guys want me to play. Because on this channel I kind of do like art and... Vlog and, and gaming. So, if you want to see more of that, please like this video. So, obviously, it's my birthday tomorrow, and I'd really like to wake up to at least like a few more likes than I usually get. It would just make me so much happier because I do enjoy making these videos, and sometimes it kind of sucks when no one really watches it. So, thank you for. Thank you for staying here and watching it till the end because honestly, it means so much to me. And especially because it's my birthday tomorrow, I really hope that you left a like on this video. If you do, if you really enjoyed it and you've looked at some of my other videos, then you subscribe. Maybe we'll become one of the popular subscribers on this channel because I'm wanting to do some. Once I have like a certain amount of subscribers, I'm not close to the goal yet, but once I'm close, um, I will want to do um, some shout outs and giveaways and stuff, so if you're subscribed, stay tuned for that. Okay, so I've finished the drawing, now I'm finished. That's it. That's the whole drawing. And this drawing is really fun and e really, really easy to do. So, you can do it too. As long as you follow along with the steps and give it your best shot, you can definitely do this too. Okay, so that was really fun to make, actually. And here's the result. I think it looks really cute. Not only that, this one it was really Like a bell cut.